Welcome, one and all. We begin today's journey with a powerful quote from St. Pope Pius X. Holy Communion is the shortest and safest way to heaven. This profound statement sets the tone for our exploration into the wisdom of this extraordinary figure in the Catholic Church. Moving chronologically through his life, we uncover the evolution of his profound thoughts. The second quote, the greatest obstacle in the apostolate of the Church is the ignorance of the faith demonstrates his deep concern for religious education, a theme that echoes throughout his papacy. As we delve deeper into his wisdom, we encounter the third quote, to restore all things in Christ, so that Christ may be all in all, a rallying cry for renewal and unity in the church and the world at large. Next, we encounter, the church alone possesses together with her magisterium the power of governing and sanctifying human society, a powerful statement on the church's role in shaping societies. The fifth quote, the primary duty of the church is to make her children really holy, serves as a reminder of the church's spiritual mission. In the sixth quote, I was born poor, I have lived poor, and I wish to die poor. We glimpse St. Pope Pius V's humble nature and his solidarity with the less fortunate. His seventh quote, the rosary is the most beautiful and the most rich in graces of all prayers is a testament to his deep devotion and commitment to prayer. The eighth quote, the declared enemies of God and his church, heretics and schismatics, must be criticized as much as possible, reveals his strong stance against threats to the unity of the church. The ninth quote, the church is the pillar and ground of truth, emphasizes his belief in the church as the custodian of spiritual truth. His tenth quote, he who prays most, receives most, encourages a life of prayer and spiritual connection. In the eleventh quote, all the strength of Satan's reign is due to the easygoing weakness of Catholics, we see his call for renewed commitment and vigilance among the faithful. The twelfth quote, the daily adoration or visit to the Blessed Sacrament is the practice which is the fountainhead of all devotional works, is a powerful reminder of the importance of devotion in daily life. In the thirteenth quote, in our time more than ever before, the greatest asset of the evil disposed is the cowardice and weakness of good men. We see a call to courage and moral strength. Uh, the 14th quote, He alone can have mercy who is above all law, reflects his understanding of divine mercy and justice. The 15th quote, The church has no need of human societies to carry her laws into effect, asserts the church's autonomy and spiritual authority. In the 16th quote, Christian democracy means nothing more than the people animated by the spirit of Christianity. We see his vision for a society guided by Christian values. The 17th quote, the church is essentially an unequal society, that is, a society comprising two categories of persons, the pastors and the flock, underscores his understanding of the church's hierarchical structure. The 18th quote, the Pope is not simply the representative of Jesus Christ, on the contrary, he is Jesus Christ himself, is a powerful statement on the Pope's divine role. The 19th quote, the church is not a democracy, is a clear assertion of the church's governance structure. Finally, the 20th quote, Catholic action is the direct duty of all those who are the children of the Church, ends on a note of collective responsibility and action. In these 20 quotes, we can trace the evolution of St. Pope Pius X's thoughts and beliefs, centered on the themes of faith, devotion, the Church's role, and the collective responsibility of all Catholics. His words continue to inspire and guide us, offering a beacon of wisdom in our spiritual journey.